Well, the Legends Honour Roll was extended by two more recipients tonight following the running of the Hondo Grant and the qualifying event for the Chariots of Fire. Bert Alley, one of the all-time greats, was first in to the Legends Honour Roll, joined by someone who I'm delighted to see whose name and colours now appear on the Legends, Steve Turnbull. Well, Steve, congratulations. I couldn't think of a more deserving person to be joining the Legends and, of course, joining your dad, the late great and a legend in every sense of the word, Tony Turnbull. Yeah, it was, a, it was a big thrill. I, I've been thinking I probably should be able to be put up here because I had the, everything at home and then Wano had me in because he said, oh, no, it's a different award. And I thought, well, it's the same badge. And I even went and had a look at Dad's badge and it was the same badge. And I thought, oh, you're having a go at me. And I've had, been arguing with different people and that, but it's all been a G up, yeah. So you were totally taken by surprise in one way? Yeah, I just thought, uh, it, like Mono virtually said, yours was only a country thing, and I mean, so I'm just a country bum and you just don't wear and I was pretty upset about it. And uh, anyhow, but because I thought it was a great honour to be here against these, like the, the great people that I grew up admiring and, and uh, they were all great fellows and still good friends with Vic and different ones. Um, yeah, to, to be nominated in that was great. When you had so many of the family here, and when we say the Turnbulls and the Rickson's turn up, it's a big do. So there was a lot here. Did that didn't give you any hints, or you thought they were just here for the running of the Hondo Grouton? When I when I walked in and seen them, and I look every table, and, and uh, there was friends and and family members, and I thought there's something going on. I had this in the back of my mind, but then I thought, nah, would, they wouldn't have done anything. And it wasn't until halfway through the speech, and I went. Oh, this is this is it. I'm gonna gonna finally get even. I was nearly even gonna walk through when I I walked from the stables through, just to see, and then I thought, no, nah, you only you only get all upset because you're not there. So it was it was a good surprise. Yeah. Your speech, you seem to be a little surprised, and then you, you sort of like settled down, and the honour now that it really has sunk in, it is an outstanding honour. I remember getting it, and. Uh, uh, they were saying, and, and then they started going through what I'd done. And I thought, oh, I've done that. I've done that. Anyhow, it still didn't click. Then all of a sudden they said my name. and It was even half emotional that night. And it was a real big honour. And, um, yeah, I, I'll never forget that part of it because we were just sitting there and, and to be honoured by such a great, great thing it was unreal. I was talking to your son Nathan, he was telling me how he had to sneak the set of colours out and get them down here to climb an angle so they could frame it. It's turned out beautiful, Steve. Unbelievable, yeah. And uh, like the, the friends and people that you just even go and have a drink with her here tonight and some really good friends. And um, yeah, it's just been enormous. Of course, the running of the Hondo Grant went the way of the odds on favourite, the brilliant Kiwi, Don't Stop Dreaming. So that was just a little bit of icy on the cake, the fact that such a special horse won a race named after such a special horse. Yeah, he, he, he went sensational. He, the high speed he showed in the straight um, and the Hunter Cup the other night, he went enormous. But And, and Mark is another gentleman and a, and a great fellow. And, and I, I actually, you can really call him a friend because he'll come up and say, good day, Steve. He actually congratulated me when I got the 4,000 4, winners and you'd think, oh, a bloke like that wouldn't care too much, but no, the, the Purds are a, a very nice family too. You mentioned the fact that you grew up admiring and watching a lot of these great champions, Brian Hancock, Joe Wilsley, Paul Fitzpatrick, Vic Frost, Kevin Newman, the list just grows on and on. Uh, now that your name's on there, it's a bit surreal? Yeah, that's for sure. That's. <laughs> You sort of live in Dad's shadow a little bit and uh, you always try to do what he done over the years. And Blake stressed me the other night, he said, you'll never be as good as your old man. But And the other bloke said, oh, he hadn't done a, too bad of a job. And I thought, no, for, to run second to Dad, it's, uh, it's still a big effort. Um, but different eras and yeah, um, we've had a lot of fun over the times. When you look back as a youngster growing up, going to the trots with your dad and seeing all those gentlemen I just mentioned, Steve, now you're alongside of them. Yeah, that's right. Instead of uh, uh, like admiring them and that, we're, we're up there with them. So yeah, it, like I said, it's been a, it was an unbelievable honour when I got it, and, and tonight to be 
um, like on it over it's been fantastic well you certainly had a career that should be admired and respected I suppose yeah it got a fair bit of winners but um, yeah I, I sort of probably don't go we, we're not quite as good here at Meningle but we had some good times at, at Harold Park and you've got to have a really nice horse here now and it's more about the speed here and um, I think and um, whereas the, the old times the pushing and the shoving and, and that's what I grew up in and the more um, what would you call competitive harder racing whereas more speed now and, and uh, that's why I probably don't drive as much now and uh, I still I'd seen a drive in the bush where I, I grew up at and know a bit more about than here it's I, I think it's more of a a young man's sport that they jump and run and go hard and, and uh, whereas we sort of in the old days we'd more look after your horse and try and sneak along the fence and have a bit of a shove on the turn and things like that yeah different different era well, now that you're a legend I suppose I've virtually pensioned you off so they don't care whether you drive or not now you, you, you're out of the scene <laughs> no, I can just be an old cattle farmer now but no I still get up early in the morning and um, we work the horses till about 11, get the main part of it done, and then I can sneak over to the farm and goof around a bit. And uh, then in an the afternoon, I've got two really good, like Mitch is going terrific, and uh, Louise works for me and Jenny helps. Um, so we, we get them done by about 11, and I don't work the massive team now, just around the 30 mark. And uh, it, it all works really well, and all the kids have got 20 or 30 between them and I said, I've got a picture there of, um, there was 50 horses on the jog track at once the other day on a 400 metres so but we all got our different shows and we all get out there and do our best. Must be extremely proud the way your grandson's going Jet. Yeah he's going terrific and uh, got other granddaughters and that coming along and one little one's about knee eye to a grasshopper and yeah she's she coming along good too. Um, so yeah, really proud of all my grandkids. They're lovely kids and they got a lot of respect and we have a lot of fun. Steve, just to wrap up, remember when we did the interview previously in front of your dad's photo talking about your career, I asked him, what can you leave me with as far as the Turnbulls are concerned? And you said, there's plenty of them and they are gonna be keep on coming. And they certainly are. Yeah, I said that to a steward once when we were arguing I said, um, yeah, you might have beat me the day, but I said I'll still be here when you're gone, and, and that that's right. And uh, and all the kids are the same; they they enjoy it and love it. And I think we'll be around for a while longer yet. Certainly hope so, Steve. Once again, congratulations—a deserving place in the legends. Good on you. Thanks very much.